Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm just going to quickly talk about measuring things using the LiDAR data. Uh, I've already talked about the 2D view previously and you can go in and select individual points in there uh, within the data and you'll get the elevation. Okay, but I'm really going to use uh, a local scene view for this, so a 3D view. Okay, so quickly I'm just going to orientate you to uh, a building. So here we're at the western end of uh, Newbury Racecourse, and you've got a large building. Okay, so this is how it looks on uh, vertical imagery, and this imagery is dated to 2014. And here how it how it looks on Google Street View again from May 2014. So this is the building we're looking at. Uh, next to that, you've got the markets and suite, and notice this tree. Okay, so back to ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to turn on this layer again. So here's my last data set that's symbolized uh, currently using elevation points. Uh, I can also go through and change that to class and things if I wanted to. However, we can see uh, it's incorrectly symbolized as class. But in terms of elevation, we'd like to think it's spot on. Okay, so there's a couple of uh, ways I can do measuring, really. Um, if I go over to the map tab, I've got my normal measure distance and things. So if I click on that, obviously measuring the length uh, will be fairly easy to do. And I can do that exactly the same as I would in imagery. However, if you want to measure the height, it's pretty simple. I can click on a point and then I can move my mouse down to the ground. You'll see several different measurements there. So the one at the top is the horizontal distance from the two points. Then you've got a line length, which on my screen right now looks to be 37 meters. And then we've got a measurement, which is now on the left hand side. That's that negative 17 meters. So that tells us it's 17 meters from the top of the building to the ground. And notice it's quite useful that when I move my mouse around, uh, all those measurements change to reflect that. So the height hasn't changed so much, and now it's saying 18 meters. Obviously, that's a lower piece of ground there. I've got uh, 48 meters for the line length and 45 meters for the horizontal distance. So that's one way of measuring it. Now, something I can do if I really want to see the profile profile of that building, I can move my mouse around and I can get right in and I can see the difference between the tree and all of that's good stuff. However, uh, there is another way to do it, and that's using the profile tool. So if we go view to the view tab, and then we go along to profile, we can create this profile view. So if I click on that and click and move my mouse, that will show me the area that's going to get drawn in profile. When I click on that, that gives you this, oh, I've lost it, profile view. So again, once you're in there, go back to map, open up the measurements, and then you can do measurements in there again. Just another way of doing it. So why would this be useful? Well, if we're going to be doing any 3D modeling, then we're going to want to get accurate measurements of all the different parts. So if we are going to later um, create a multi-patch manually and model the build in that way, or we're going to uh, build a model of it in another piece of software, for instance, City Engine, then you're going to want to accurate measurements. So this is a way of getting those measurements using that LiDAR data. Okay, once you've finished with your measurements, to get out of this, you can just click this red X here. Don't click this one because that's going to close your entire uh, view. Just click that X there. That takes you out of that view. Okay, that was just a quick demo of uh, making measurements from LiDAR data uh, in ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for another demo.